Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Self-propelled artillery is artillery with its own propulsion system to move toward its firing position. Within the terminology are the self-propelled gun, self-propelled howitzer, self-propelled mortar, and rocket artillery. They are high-mobility vehicles usually based on continuous tracks carrying either a large field gun, howitzer, mortar, or some form of rocket missile launcher. They are usually used for long-range indirect bombardment support on the battlefield. Today, we want to tell you about the new American Howitzer M109A7 Paladin. Before we get started, if you do enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get more sent straight to your notifications. The Paladin M109A7 Next Generation Artillery System, manufactured by BAE Systems, is a significant upgrade to the combat-proven M109A6 Paladin Cannon Artillery System. The enhanced artillery system offers key fire support for a variety of potential combat missions conducted by the U.S. Army's Armored Brigade Combat Teams in conventional, hybrid, irregular, and counterinsurgency combat environments. BAE Systems completed the delivery of the 300th vehicle set of the M109A7 artillery system in 2021. It delivered 133 low-rate initial production vehicle sets and 216 full-rate production vehicle sets by the end of June 2022. The U.S. Army and BAE Systems signed a Memorandum of Understanding for the Paladin Integrated Management Program to upgrade the M109A6 Paladin self-propelled howitzer and its associated M992A2 field artillery ammunition support vehicle. The authority intends to procure 580 sets of M109A7 vehicles, which are expected to sustain until 2050. The modernization program includes upgrades to hull, turret, engine, and suspension systems to offer increased reliability, survivability, and performance over the M109A6 artillery system. The upgraded system is capable of providing consistent fire support in all weather conditions. The cannon is mounted on the chassis structure common to the Bradley Tracked Fighting Vehicle. The vehicle is controlled by a crew of four and has an overall length of 31 feet 9.7 meters, width of 12 feet 3.9 meters, height of 10 feet 3.3 meters, and maximum gross weight of 78,000 pounds 35,380 kilograms. The new artillery system can select and take up firing positions and automatically unlock and point its cannon while on the move. The modernization effort also represents upgrades to space, weight, and power cooling. This artillery system retains the same 155mm L39 howitzer of the Paladin. However, now it is fitted with the new automated loader. It can sustain a one round per minute rate of fire. It is a great improvement over the previous M109A6 Paladin. Maximum rate of fire is 4 rounds per minute. Maximum range of fire is 14 miles, 24 kilometers, with standard projectiles, and 18 miles, 30 kilometers, with rocket-assisted projectiles. The M109A7 can also fire M982 Excalibur Extended Range Precision Guided Projectiles that have a maximum range of 24 miles. 40 kilometers. The M109A7 has a brief reaction and redeployment time. This feature allows to avoid counter-battery fire and gives shoot-and-scoot capability. This system can stop and fire its first round within 60 seconds from traveling. Armor of this self-propelled howitzer provides protection against small arms fire and artillery shell splinters. The vehicle can be fitted with an add-on armor kit as well as underbelly armor kit for higher level of protection. The turret is fitted with Kevlar anti-spall lining. The vehicle is fitted with NBC protection and automatic fire extinguishing systems. Early prototypes had a roof-mounted 12.7mm heavy machine gun in a shielded position. However, newer versions are fitted with remotely controlled weapon stations armed with the same 12.7mm heavy machine gun, which is now controlled from inside of the vehicle under complete armor protection. Alternatively, the heavy machine gun can be replaced by a 40mm automatic grenade launcher. The Paladin M109A7 vehicle is powered by a 675-horsepower engine. 
The propulsion system also consists of electric elevation and traverse drives, an electric rammer, L3 HMPT-800 automatic transmission, and an onboard power system with a generating capacity of 70 kilowatts at a rate of 600 volts DC, 28 volts DC. The vehicle has a fuel storage capacity of 549 liters and a ground clearance of 0.4 meters. It can ford at a maximum depth of 1.07 meters and cross trenches with depths of 1.8 meters. The gradient and side slopes of the vehicle are 60% and 40% respectively. While the onboard speed is 38 miles per hour, 61 kilometers per hour, and the cruising range is 187 miles. 300 kilometers. Each M109A7 self-propelled howitzer is escorted by an associated M992A3 ammunition carrier. The M992A3 is officially referred to as Carrier Ammunition Tract, or CAT. It carries ammunition under armor and reloads the howitzer. This vehicle transfers ammunition to the self-propelled howitzer via conveyor. Reloading does not require for crew members to step outside the vehicle. Usually, it takes place away from firing position in order to avoid counter-battery fire. The U.S. Army and BAE systems are working on increasing the combat capabilities of the M109A7 howitzer. Improved capabilities are being developed under the U.S. Army's Extended Range Cannon Artillery Program, which is focused on developing a self-propelled howitzer with increased range and rate of fire. The M109A7 chassis will serve as the base platform for the new and improved XM1299 self-propelled howitzer. BAE Systems received a $45 million contract for the Extended Range Cannon Artillery Increment 1 prototype in July 2019. The enhancements developed under the ERCA program are proposed to be integrated into the existing and future M109A7 howitzers to enhance their range and rate of fire. The planned upgrade includes replacing the M109A7 howitzer's existing 39 caliber turret with a 58 caliber, 30 foot long gun barrel to increase the range to more than 44 miles. 70 kilometers. The U.S. Army awarded a $97.28 million contract modification to deliver additional M109A7 and M992A3 vehicles in January 2022. It ordered 40 additional sets of M109A7 howitzers and the accompanying M992A3 ammunition carriers under a contract worth $299 million in July 2022. BAE Systems is also required to provide spare parts as part of the contract. What do you think of the M109A7? Are you impressed by the upgrades? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos straight to your notifications. Thanks for watching.